This is like the walking encyclopedia of romantic comedy. I remember watching uh, uh, Four Winds and a Funeral when it came out. I mean, that was oh, Hugh Grant's such pretty a classic. Yeah. Miranda made sure that uh, before I took on uh, this project, that I watched her viewing list of all of the greatest rom-coms. I remember the first one I watched was My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yes, I'd not seen that before, yes. But you, that was the first one I watched, and yeah, that was a good yeah, that was reference a... point for, for this as well. I like that one. Yeah. It's okay. I'm a glam. <laughs> I've always turned to stories to kind of understand um, the kind of person I want to be, who I want to become. But I've realised that uh, I, I don't really get to see myself reflected back at me and I'm sure there are so many other women mar of marginalised backgrounds like myself that long for that as well and go out and make films like me. Crocs Butter, yeah, that was a real thing. That was a, quite a shock to the system when I saw that for the first time. We don't have that on call sheets in the UK, you see. No. Um, no. Also, I don't know what you can do once you've spotted a croc. <laughs> no. well, exactly right. You're, it's already a bit too late. It's <laughs> Mine wasn't as wild as <laughs> the night Lauren had with her girlfriend. No turdoy straws. No turdoy straws. One thing that I had in common with uh, Top End Wedding was the fact that um, I married by my own choice and I love that as a young woman that I get to choose. There isn't a pressure by society to, to get married and it's kind of really nice to, to be able to make that choice and with the person that you really, really want to spend the rest of your life with.